Anemia is when one has a low red blood cell count, a low hemoglobin, which is the carrier of oxygen throughout the body, and that leads to lower oxygen levels throughout the body. In myelodysplastic syndromes, or MDS, the abnormal MDS cells take over the bone marrow and lead to many immature stem cells that crowd out the normal stem cells. That leads to decreased production of normal red blood cells, leading to anemia. There are several classes of anemia related to myelodysplastic syndromes. One of the most common is refractory anemia, which is when the red blood cells are crowded out by the myelodysplastic syndrome bad cells. Another type is refractory anemia with ring sideroblasts. This is when there is an excess, an increase in ring sideroblasts, which are abnormal cancer-like cells that have a lot of iron, and they look interesting under the microscope. And then another class is refractory anemia with excess blasts. This is when there is a large increase in leukemia-like blast cells in the bone marrow that can lead to an increased risk of progression to acute myeloid leukemia. Myelodysplastic syndromes can cause a number of health complications, many of them related to anemia. This can include shortness of breath, um, difficulty breathing, and then it can also lead to cardiovascular complications, so issues related to the heart. Um, and it can also lead to an increased risk of bleeding if one has low platelets. And finally, it can lead to an increased risk of infection if one has a low white blood cell count. When we see patients with myelodysplastic syndrome in the clinic, one of the first questions patients ask is, how is this going to affect my life? And our goal is always to improve quality of life and increase survival in all of our patients to help them live as normal life as possible.